Hi guys! Welcome to Wednesday Glitter Pit live stream. Right now is happening on your television, your device, whatever you're watching on. Come on in. Let me turn my comments on. How's everybody doing? We are going to be making three beautiful cards and two are fun folds and one is like a technique. It's called partial die cutting, so we're going to kind of go through that. I'm going to actually get my die cut machine out. That's our first card that we're going to make today, too, so I'm pretty excited. And it's with a beautiful stamp set that's brand new in the new spring and summer slash um, occasion slash January through April mini catalog, and it's called The Nested Friends. Hi, everybody. I'm glad you're here, too, Narelda. Where have you been? <laughs> Where have you been all this time? It's like only been a week, right? <laughs> My hubby is watching too? Arliss, say hello to ha say hello to hubby. Hi guys. All right, so I'm just going to go through here and look at the comments really quick cuz I was over in the early bird chat, but then I had to come over to the table. I had to leave a little earlier. All right, so are you guys ready to jump in? Let's do an early bird glitter spinner. I have these classic matte dots, which are the black, vanilla, gray, all those awesome neutral colors. So it's really great. We've been upgraded to a warning. We shall see, Jesse. Oh no, Jesse! How are you doing, Jesse? Oh, I've been praying for you so hard, girl. Oh my gosh, you have been through so much. So hopefully that tornado, oh my word. You better go take cover if that's for you. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. All right, so everybody's talking about because they've seen the cards early. So this is why you want to subscribe to my newsletter. Also, the text to sign up is gone. My provider removed that. So if you guys are wondering, that's no longer available. So to sign up, you'll have to email me, you know, this email right here. And give me your address. Okay? Dawn at the glitter pit .com. Email me there. And I will get you added to the weekly newsletter that goes out on Wednesday about 2.30, all right? So let me go ahead and put this in. Oh, wait. I got to do my... Glitter spinner. Yeah, let me go ahead and flip this over here. All right, so let's move this stuff out of the way. We've got the glitter spinner, the early bird glitter spinner, right? So, oh, wait, I got to plug in my mic. Hold on. It's going to be a little clunking noise. Oh, all right. See me? Can you hear me? <laughs> all right, I think we're working now. Well, you guys can probably hear me better anyway. All right, so let's do the glitter spinner. This is the early bird glitter spinner. You're going to get these matte, classic matte dots. And let's do the spin really quick. Uh-oh. Ooh, so many comments. I love it, you guys. Thanks for sharing, too, and liking. Giving me the thumbs up. I love it. All right, right here. Long time no co- oh, wait, no, long time, long time away had COVID. Oh, no, Joanne! What the heck? Yeah, that's terrible. Well, I'm so glad you're all right and everything's good and you're back. But you won the prize. Yay! Congratulations, congratulations. Yay, Joanne! Right out the door, you get the prize. Uh-oh, I wonder if I'm going to have to change my batteries on my spinner. I wonder. Here we go. Yay! Ooh, ooh. Is that better? All right. These, this little thing takes like six or eight batteries. And, of course, it takes a little Phillips screwdriver to undo it. And then the batteries are not cheap. But my husband, I want to show you all the batteries. He bought me like a big old pack of them off of Amazon. This is just some of them. I think they take six batteries for this little silly thing that Devet got me. I love it. I think of you every time I use it, Devet. Thank you, Devet. Everybody thanks you because it's so awesome. 
All right, so Joanne, I got your address. Thank you. She is a customer. I will get these sent out to you tomorrow. I'm just going to write on here Matt Dot so I know that you got them, all right? Yay! I'm so sorry you were under the weather. You got the crud, right? That's what we call it around here, the crud. <laughs> the crud is not fun at all. All right, so now let's go ahead and do the glitter giveaway that we did on my website. If you go to my website, this was from last week, all right? So the winners from last week's glitter giveaway, this is when you post a comment on my website, which is right here, dawnstampingthoughts.net. Leave a comment tomorrow morning, and you're going to be entered to win the next two stamp sets that I show you. I'm not going to show you now. I'm going to tell you who the winners are. But this is how you get into that drawing. So usually they're two stamp sets. Sometimes they're, you know, watercolored pencils. Sometimes it's like a bundle. Yeah, it's really good. So, but you, to leave a comment over on my website, just go to dawnstampingthoughts.net and look for the class that we're going to be making today, which is class number 16 with the uh, nested friends, which looks like this. With the cute little bird nest. Oh, so beautiful. I think this is the most beautiful bird set that Stampin' Up! has done in a long, long time. I was so excited to get it. Anyway, so leave a comment on this blog post for this card class, number 16, and then your name will be entered to win the next two stamp sets that I'll show you here in a second. But we got to announce last week's winners. So let me pull those up. Let me get my drum roll. And they've been contacted and I got them already addressed. You girls are very quick at re responding. I love it. <laughs> oh no, that's not it. <laughs> Sorry. That was last week. Right here. <laughs> I thought, did I bring it over? You know, ain't no telling. Karen and Brenda were last week's winners. Woo woo! Go Karen, go Brenda. You guys won the glitter giveaway, which I think was the Easter set and the, oh my word, what was the other set? Look how quick I forget. I just addressed them like a half an hour ago too. So it was the Easter set and oh, I don't remember. But you're getting the ones that you wanted, right? Okay. So congratulations, ladies. Yay. Woo-hoo. All right. Now, let me put this in picture in picture. There we go. All right. So now these are the two sets that I'm going to give away. They're not new, but they're retired. They're my from my stash. So they're gently used, and then even though they might look kind of, well, some of them are stained, I think. But I try to clean them up a little bit before I actually send them out. But these are the two sets that we're going to put on my website starting tomorrow morning about 7 o'clock. This is the Gift of Kindness, which is really awesome with the greetings and this cute little solid image here with the polka dots. And then this Endless Birthday Wishes. This is a photopolymer stamp set, and this is a red rubber, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to post these on my website tomorrow, about 7 o'clock. So you have until, I'd say till Wednesday morning to leave a comment over there to get entered into the drawing. And I use a random generator to pick the names and then I count out the comments. So very on the up and up. So, and then when you're contacted by email, I'll let you know, especially, well, I'll let you know if you win it, whether or not I have your address. But if you're brand new to the Glitter Pit or to my website, I will email you to let you know that you won and that I would need your address, all right? So then the sooner you respond back to me, the sooner I can get them sent out, all right? Oh, let me put those over there. Yay! All right, so these are the two brand new host codes for this week. Two brand ones, two brand new ones, I should say. This is for the card class kit number 16 using the nested friends, which is a die. I'm going to show you the dies that are in this collection too, especially the ones that we don't use. So you'll know what they are. But this is to get the card kit. Remember, if you place or when you place an order for $40 or more, use this host code and then you'll get the card kit. Okay. 
And, and then also if you bump it up to 50, so $10 more using this host code, you'll get the card kit and the FSM token, which on my website, if you go to my FSM club at the top toolbar, it explains everything about my FSM club, which I can explain that at the end of the hour if you want, just remind me. And then also you get a free celebration item for January and February. So bump it up to 50, use this host code, you'll get the class kit, the token and celebration item. And then if you want to place an order or when you place an order and you don't want the card kit, you'd rather get a gift towards the middle of February, use this new host code that just started this last or this past weekend. I just posted it. So this is the host code that's good for 30 days for, for a month. So it will be up on my website. If you go to my website, dawnstampingthoughts.net, along the right-hand side of my blog, you'll see a picture of myself. And then just scroll slightly below that. This host code is posted right there all the time. So if you forget it, that host code for the small gift, the next following month, will be posted there. And then every Wednesday morning, about 7 o'clock, we have the new host code that starts for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Because this host code started today through Saturday the 21st at midnight. So if you want to get this card kit, make sure your order is placed between those time frames. Because then we got to cut, package, and get them all sent out by next week. So the sooner you place your order, the more I know that you want it. Then if by chance you forget to add the host code, you can email Stampin' Up or you can call Stampin' Up and have them add that order to that host code, okay? If you call me or email me, I'm going to tell you that too because I can't do it anymore. Stampin' Up kind of frowns on that. So you're going to have to call Stampin' Up at 1-800-STAMP-UP. And then tell them that you want to add your order that you just placed to this host code. Now remember, don't use either any of the host codes if your order is $150 or more. Don't use them because you're going to get your own Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up, which is free dollars to spend, okay? But even if you use the host code and you spend $50 and you use the host code, you're still going to get your free celebration item. They'll let you pick that, all right? Yay! All right, so I'll show you those host codes again at the end of the hour, all right? So here is our new PDF for our projects for this week using the Nested Friends. It is seriously such a beautiful stamp set. Like, almost delicate. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, soft and pretty. So I wanted to make really unique, fun fold cards for this card. And then also... You could also use these for sympathy cards, birthday cards, thinking of you cards, anything you want. I'm just using the stamps that are in this stamp set, except for one, because I did use the birthday wishes. So I used another stamp set, which is from this set, which we've used before on a card kit, Best Day. So on the inside of that card, I used um, It's the Best Day because it's your birthday. So, but we'll, we'll show you all that when we get there, all right? So, but I wanted to utilize all these greetings except for the thank you. I didn't get to make that one, but you can make it into a thank you card if you want, all right? So, but the stamp set is gorgeous. It's red rubber. Yep, red rubber. And this is the die that coordinates. So, you can get it in a bundle and save 10%. And I want to show you we're using all of these dies right here on this side. So then you're probably going to, especially this, I even had to die cut this to find out what this was because <laughs> it looks so weird. But I'm going to show you what those dies do and then these dies do. So even if you don't want to stamp it like I did on the card, you can always die cut the bird nest and it's beautiful. So let me show you those dies, what they look like when you cut them out. If you're wondering like I am or like I was. So these dies right here, you're going to have two sets let me show you up close. These two sets are leaves. These two sets of dies. But there's two different sizes. You have large and small. But seriously, when I cut them out, they don't look very much different from each other. So let me show you. So you get three sets of the leaves. So here's the large. And then here's the small. <laughs> I mean, they're still tiny, but if you want to make your project like really 3D, you can take like a glue dot and add your leaves to your um, bird's nest. 
be really pretty. But we're not doing that with our cards today. But you can definitely do that if you get the bundle. And then this is for this die right here. Let me take these both off here. So this is for the solid nest, right? It even embosses it a little bit. So I did mine in early espresso. Now these are these two dies are meant to go together. So then this one is kind of like the twigs, but it lays over the nest. Isn't that beautiful? So this is where I was saying that if you wanted to, you could cut this out and use this on your cards instead of stamping it, you know, and die cutting it. Isn't that pretty? But seriously, you're going to love the stamp set because the stamp set is very like delicate. I don't know any other word to say. It's just so beautiful. All right, so that's the die in a nutshell. So we're using this one for the eggs. This is for the branch, of course, the bird. And then this one cuts out the bird's nest. Okay, see that? Cuts it out perfectly. So we're going to use this die on our first card. So let me show you the cards really quick. Actually, let me just keep that out. All right, so here are the cards. Also, the PDF or the printable is listed down below in the description box, as well as everything else that's going on. Like the, uh, oh, I got the, um, the same thanks card kit. Remember I mentioned this last week that I had it and I wanted to put it together? Well, I put three of the cards together with my team last week. Aren't they beautiful? So this is the newest kit from Stampin' Up, and it's only available online, so then you get these really pretty colorful envelopes too. But the stamps, the there's no stamp set in this card kit for this month, but they're really super easy, and it's $13 for nine cards. They're very, very cute, okay? So I wanted to show you that, and then, so now these cards here, let me show you this one. This is the first one we're gonna make today. This is the partial die cutting, so you'll notice that the nest is hanging off of the card, which you're probably thinking, well, you just die cut that nest out and then you just put it over the card. No, no, I did not cut that out. I cut it out from the stamped image. Can you see that? It's on the card stock. Can you see it? So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And then I just turned it into a birthday card. But it's a very cute technique. Well, it's not really a cute technique. It's really a unique technique that makes for a really awesome fold of a card. Okay? And you can do this with a lot of other stamp sets. So this will be card number one. And then card number two is a fun fold. Now, I tried to lift this designer paper up without lifting it. So that's why mine has a crease in it. Because I wanted to put the ribbon up here. So I'm going to make today's card with the ribbon up here. So then you guys decide which way you want to make it all right so but this is the front and then you open it up and it moves the little step inside isn't that awesome and then you got your little ledge here to stamp always thinking of you and then best friends make the good times better now you'll notice with that stamp that's in the stamp set we're going to do a little stamp surgery again we're going to cut and remove and the hard times easier or you can keep it, whatever you want. I thought I just like best friends make the good times better. Cut that bottom section off. Whack it off. And then I just put that on the inside. But see how the bird nest and everything peeks through to the front too? I love it. Okay, so there's card number two. And then card number three is your, what did I call this one? Oh yeah, interlocking gatefold card. This is using the petal pink. This will be die cut for you. And then you open it up and then that's where I'm putting the, it's the best day because it's your birthday. So then it interlocks. See the gatefold is the pool party cardstock. And then it interlocks with the stitch rectangle dies. Very, very pretty. So this one's a birthday card. This one can be a birthday card too because it's just pretty, pretty generic. You know, best friends make the good times better. Always thinking of you. And then this one is also a birthday card. So. I need birthday cards. I just realized I'm behind on my team birthday cards and I got to get like 12 cards sent out ASAP. So needless to say, I won't be giving out the glitter giveaway or the glitter spinner for the cards. I'll give you guys something else, just not the cards today. I need them for birthdays. Sorry. All right, so are we ready to start stamping? Any questions? 
Did I forget something? Oh, card sketch. This is my card sketch. I'm so, so excited about this week's card sketch. Look, so it went like, how did I do it? Oh yeah, like this. This is this week's card sketch, which was posted on Monday. And I had to use the Taco Fiesta. Isn't that cute? So all the details are posted on this past Monday on my website. So if you want to go check that out, it gives you all the measurements, which I have them back here. But everything's posted on my website. Every Monday is a new card sketch. This is number 265. Yeah, 265. Holy guacamole, it's your birthday. Guess what? I'm using that for a birthday card too. <laughs> I need a lot of birthdays. All right. Are you ready to party? Love all the three cards. Thank you. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, thank you. All right, gorgeous cards today. Thank you, Teresa. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with card number one, which is this card right here. I would consider this like a no layer card, but you can really gussy it up. Like I added the piece of designer paper. This paper is actually from that um, country country floral lane designer paper, as well as this paper here. So it's very, well, it's in the Valentine paper pack, you know, right here. Let me show you. So just because it's like a, a Valentine themed paper right here, there's a lot of like universal paper in there with just pretty colors like the balmy blue and the petal pink and sweet sorbet. So that's that paper that we're using, excuse me, on both cards, okay? So let's start with this one. This is using the thick basic white. Let me get all my pieces out here. We're going to do die cutting, so I'm going to do this with you, all right? But I did cut out my bird and my eggs, and I give you a little piece of petal pink for cutting your die, die cutting your eggs, and then a piece of the basic white to stamp and die cut your bird. So I have my eggs here. Three eggs will cut out, which is the die right here. This die will cut out all three eggs at the same time, which is awesome. Okay. So your, your basic white thick. Let me get my bone folder. Oh, I learned something new this past week. Hand sanitizer. Look, Nicole. I got your hand, sanit hand sanitizer out. It smells so good. It smells very orangey, like oranges. I don't know. I was expecting it to smell like lemons, but did you guys know that this cleans your blocks in your bone folders? I know, me either. I just found that out from one of my team members last Thursday. <laughs> it cleaned my bone folder so good. And then did you notice all my blocks are cleaned? Oh, I did it. They're so pretty. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and stamp our nest. That's, I went ahead and did one already just in case I mess up because you guys know how that goes. All right, now where's my ink pad? All right, so I need the Memento ink. And this is what you're going to do with your card when you get it, all right? So you're definitely going to need the stamp set and the die. All right, so you're going to ink your nest up. Okay, now I'm going to go up about, I don't know, I guess that would be about three quarters of an inch or so. Now your designer paper, I cut at one and a quarter wide, like the width of it. So you can adjust it like you can see on this card. So you can actually put it right down on the edge of the card or you can move it up depending on how you stamp your nest. So it's very workable around that so you don't have to like measure it out three-fourths of an inch so um i'm just making sure if i got ink on there because i feel like my ink pad is a little dry today i should have re-inked it all right we're gonna try it okay so this is the front of our thick basic white and we're gonna stamp the nest right in the center of the card pressure 
because it's a fairly large stamp. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the die cut machine. We're going to do that first before we color or anything because we don't want to waste our time coloring it if we mess up the die cutting. Okay. So let me go ahead and take this out of picture in picture so you can see my full screen right here. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I don't want to lose it though because we're going to use it on the card. All right. So you're going to need the big die cut machine or a big die cut machine, whatever one you have. And I'm going to grab my platform, which is number one right here, number one, and then my die cutting number two, my little like shim, and then your two number three acrylics, okay? So I'm going to put this one down here first because it's been cut on. All right, so now what we're going to do, let me move this over. I do have some post-it note tape. This is what this looks like. I did, I think I have this in my Amazon um, affiliate links if you want it. Post-it note tape. It's really nice. It's kind of like washi tape. You can use washi tape too. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the card and we're going to put our card, like I like hanging over the, where it's scored at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to take the die and I'm going to put this right where I want to die cut it. Right. Wow, that looks pretty good right there. And I'm going to put my post-it tape on here so it doesn't move. Right. Now, if you want to draw a line like right where you want to die cut, I feel like your plate will be the guide, you know, when you're die cutting. But if you want to, you can take a ruler and just draw like a light pencil line across there. But seriously, let me show you on how easy this is to do this partial die cutting. So you're just going to take your second plate and slide it into the, the die machine. And you're only going to cut where these leaves are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here. So I'm going to push this up here. Now the idea with the partial die cutting is wherever the two plates are, right here you have the one plate and then the two plates, wherever this plate is not, it won't cut. I know it's kind of freaky when you first do it because it's like, it's going to cut it, but it doesn't. I'm going to actually move this up a little bit more, making sure that the card is straight. Wait, where did I cut it? Oh, I want to go above that. So right about there, can you see that where I'm lining that up at? It's going above the leaves here. Let me show you on this one. See right here, you can even still see where I die cut it. So make a straight line right across there with that plate. Okay. I think right about there is good. Making sure my card is inside the machine. Right about there is good. Okay, so now we're going to send this through. Oh, I just moved it. Send that through the die cut machine. So wherever the two plates are, it's going to cut. This, it will not cut. Here, let me zoom back out before I run that through so you can see. Okay, so that's that was all the die cutting right there. So let me show you that that's the only section on this card that's going to be cut is right here. Ta-da! Don't you love it? <laughs> People are going to wonder how you did that. Like, how did you get that nest on that card and then cut around that with your scissors? Oh, no. That's not how we did it. Isn't that cool? All right, now, let me go ahead and move this, and we'll grab our paper trimmer, because we're going to finish removing that section. Okay, let me get my paper trimmer. Okay, now you could also, this is when I was saying about you could take your, um, oh, that's what I did. I moved my, there we go. Okay, so like, like I had mentioned before, you can take a little light pencil line and draw it with the ruler. And then you could take your scissors and cut that. But I think it's much easier on your trimmer. I'm going to go a little bit right here. This is where my lines are right here. Let me zoom in. 
you guys can see what I'm doing here. So I'm taking this edge right here, right where that cut line is right here and down to this one over here. And I'm going to cut that bottom section off, but you don't want to cut through it all because you're going to remove the nest too. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking that that might be good right there. Let me see a little bit more. So right there. And then if you just cut like close enough to that edge, you can always go back in and finish it off with your scissors if you wanted. Oh, I felt that one. See, that one came off. See there? So there's just a little bit in there. Let's see here. I gotta, I gotta get my scissors for the rest of it. Let's back out. So that's easy enough, right? Cut that out. Hold on. One moment, please. I gotta see right where I'm cutting or I would do it in camera, but I can't because I don't wanna put my head in the camera. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so there's the partial die cutting. That's your card right there. Ta-da! I love it. Pretty snazzy. I think so anyway. All right, now we're gonna color all the image here and then my bird. I do have one already colored. So you can color your bird, your nest, however you want. I just wanna show you how I'm coloring mine. So I'm using the Crumb Cake Combo Pack for the nest. I'm using Old Olive Light for the leaves. I'm using the Flirty Flamingo for the little flower buds over here. And then I'm using, I think I use Pool Party for the bird with the uh, petal pink. Petal pink and the blues are what I'm focusing on with this card. So I'm gonna color the nest with the uh, crumb cake. And I like starting out on the edge with all the little sprigs, like the twigs and stuff that are like poking out. Cause the center of the nest is actually pretty easy, but you'll see where there's leaves See, there's a leaf here, leaf right here too. So, I mean, you can always go back in and color that with your old olive. Cause I have covered it up with the crumb cake a couple times when I was making these. So it's actually really easy to color. And I'm using the brush tip, using the crumb cake light. I don't know if I said that already. Just coloring it, and then I'm gonna go over with the the longer twig sticking out with the branch. Just coloring that. I won't color all the, the nest with you because I colored them all the same just to keep it kind of unison. All right, here's a little branch down here. Right here. I think that's it. Then we're going to go in. Do you guys want me to zoom in a little bit? Okay, so we're going to take our old olive. I'm going to use the bullet tip for that. I'm just going to lightly touch on the leaves. There's little tiny leaves all over. But like, let's say you did color that one in. I mean, you could take even the old olive dark and color it in, even if you, you know, you didn't see the leaf there. There's no mistakes in stamping. You can just cover color over it, especially with the blends. You could color over it with another color, especially with the light crumb cake. I feel like it's very forgiving. You could do all your shading if you want. 
I'm not going to do that. And it's still going to be beautiful. Okay. Do I have any other leaves anywhere? Oh, right here. Right here. Okay. So there's my bird's nest. And then the flirty flamingo, these little buds right here. I just thought they would be cute, like little springtime flower buds, whatever. And I didn't color the bird to be like realistic or anything. I just colored it to color it to match my cardstock. You know what I mean? All right, let me put my picture and picture in here. Is that right? Yep, there we go. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, so then I cut out my eggs, which you guys seen that. I'm going to put two of those on a mini dimensional. And then I did cut out my bird, and I already colored that with the pool party and the petal pink. Kind of tying all the colors together, right? Oh, I took my crumb cake dark. If you want to darken up the centerpiece here, I just went around like a little bit of the edge. Or you could actually just color all that in. And then I went back with my crumb cake just to kind of darken that up even more. Whatever you want to do. All right, so then we're going to pop these up on mini dimensionals. Get my, take your pick tool. We're going to pop up two of the eggs on the minis. Oh, we got to stamp our background too with pool party. I think this one is on the back side. Here, hold on. Let me flip this over. Okay, we'll put the two of the mini dimensionals on the bird. Okay, and then we're gonna stamp our background. In the, in the stamp set, there's like a little splatter, which is so awesome. It actually looks like polka dots, see that? We're gonna use that to stamp the background. Here, let me zoom back out. There we go. All right, so we're gonna stamp that with the Pool Party Classic Ink. And we're just going to stamp around the top section of the card. And this is like a really light um, polka dot. You can barely even see it. Look. Can you see that? Here, let me put my wrist in there. See it? Just a slight background. So even if you stamp it over the nest, you're not even going to see it because it is so light. Now, if you were stamping this in black, I mean, that would be different. But with the pool party, you'll be fine. It won't even show. Okay, so stamp your back of your card or your background above your nest. Okay, we're going to take our bird. We're going to put our bird right up here in the nest right here. And then three eggs. We're going to pop two up on the dimensional. So we're going to put one with the dimensional first and then the one with the adhesive without the dimensional. We're just going to use the step and seal. Put that kind of like under that one and then pop this one up over top of that. So you can, you know, strategically put them around the bird. Let me move this bird over a little bit. Right about there. Okay, isn't that pretty? All right, now we're gonna stamp our greeting, which is always thinking of you. I wanna make sure this is straight, so I'm gonna have to stamp it a couple times on my grid paper just to make sure, because once we stamp it, I mean, so now this is a quick fix. If you stamp it and it's crooked or upside down, don't worry. What you're going to do is you're just going to stamp it again on scrap white and then die cut it with the long, narrow, like the one that's in the sending dies. I don't have my annual catalog over here, but there's a really nice, um, really long, narrow die. If you have that, you can cut it or you can just hand cut it out. You know what I mean? And then just pop it up over top of where you um, did it crooked or whatever. But if you do a couple stamp samples on your grid paper okay so this has got to come down a little bit so in my mind I'm thinking I gotta 
bring that tail end down a little bit. Whew, I'm nervous. There we go. Always thinking of you. Ta-da! And then we're going to stamp birthday wishes on the inside. Now this is going to go underneath the flap. Okay? So make sure that's stamping good. So under the flap, birthday wishes. And then there should be a, where's the designer paper? Did I have that? Where did that go? There should be a piece of designer paper in your envelope. Which, where's my envelope? I swear I had it. I swear, I swear. Do I gotta go get another piece of designer paper? Did I put it somewhere? Tell me, did I put it somewhere, guys? I don't see it anywhere, even in my sample that I've already cut out. All right. Well, let me get in my kit. I already have a kit here made up, so that's what I'll do. <laughs> this is what the kits look like when you get them. So I'm going to get into that one, and this will be made up when I go back into the office. All right, so let me see. Which card am I talking about here? I think it's this one here. Nope. It's this one. And you get the envelopes, too, in your kit. So this is the designer paper. Okay, so this is cut at five and a half by one and a, and a quarter, or one and a half. Let me see. One and a half. One and a half by five and a half. And then you're going to get your three little pink embellishments. And that's from the Polish Dots. So I only got into that because I didn't bring my sample over. But I'll fix that before we get those kits sent out. I will add that. All right. So let's go ahead and put our designer paper in. So this is what I was saying about if you cut your partial die cut too high, you could always move up. The designer paper you know what I mean so depending on where your fold is right here you could put it right at the bottom edge right there or you can move it up a little smidge this one is right raised up a little bit so I'm gonna put this one right on the edge so you can see what that looks like too the, the, the thing is you want the designer paper to stop right where that fold is coming at okay so put that right there and see and that lines up perfectly right there. And then if it's a little bit long, which it is just a smidge too long, so then just trim that off. I'd rather it be too long than too short. Okay. That's it for that. And then you can take your dots, which are from the polished dots. There's pink and white ones in the pack. I don't have the pack over here, but you, you're you um, going to get either the large or the small. Just a set of three of them. Oh, hold on. Whoop! I just lost it. There's one there. Oh, it's already on there. <laughs> it flew off and landed on my card. What are the chances of that happening? Seriously. <laughs> so that's your first card. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, I love it. Now, see, now, if I wanted to fix that, let me show you. If I wanted to fix that, let me take a piece of basic white. Let me show you because I was just talking about that with you guys. So let's say I wanted to fix that. Let's say it kind of stamped crazy. So I'm going to take my Always Thinking of You. We're just going to stamp it on some scrap, right? Even though it's crooked there, but I can straighten it out. Then you're just going to hand cut that out. Or if you got one of those dies from like the sending dies, you could definitely use that. Okay? But I'm just hand cutting it out because everybody's got scissors, right? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and then you can pop that up on a dimensional. So there's a, there's a workaround is all I'm saying. So don't be afraid if it stamps crooked or whatever. You can always fix it. Or you can just put a greeting up there and just cut it out and just don't even stamp it at all. So see how am I always thinking of you? And I'm just going to put it over top of the whoopsie there. It's like that. 
Okay, so it's fixed. Yay! Birthday wishes. Love it. All right, so there's card number one. Yay. All right, card number two. Let's do it. Card number two is the fun fold with the step card. Let's put all this stuff out of my way here. All right, so this is card number two. All right, now I want to show you I was when I was playing with this idea. So the card base is balmy blue, but I first thought maybe I could do like a pool party eggs like for like a robin egg, but the bird wasn't going to be like a robin. It was just going to be like a blue bird. So I changed it last minute and changed it to the balmy blue cardstock. But I want to show you if you do use the pool party, it's still cute. That's the one I used on this card. So you're going to have both versions. You're going to get the pool or not. You're going to get the balmy blue in your kit to die cut. So, but this is what it looks like with the pool party. Okay. That's what my sample started out with. And then I changed it. So you're going to get your ribbon and then you're going to get your piece of cardstock. Your, what is this piece cut at? This is cut at three by three and it's going to be big enough to cut out your circle. Now let me share here why I didn't cut out the circle because you guys are going to have to cut out your base cards. So maybe many of you might not have the circles. You might want to use a square. So I'm giving you the, the white if you want to use the circle because it's big enough for your two and I think this is a two and five eighths scallop circle from the layering circle dies. Yeah, two and five eighths. So you can use the circles, but I'm just saying that you could also use squares or even ovals if you wanted to on your card. It just depends on what you have because you're going to have to cut the front of your card, okay, which I'm going to do with you, I think. Am I going to do that with you? Oh, yeah, I got my dies over here. All right, and then you're going to get your piece of your country floral lane. This is the Valentine's Day party, you know. So this is the blue side, the balmy blue. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. Then you're going to get your balmy blue piece for your eggs. Then your white piece for your circle, for your scallop, for the frame. And then you're going to get your, your um, basic white piece, which is should be five by five. Where's that piece at now? <laughs> Did I cut that out? Am I on the right card? This is for your scrapping, for your stamping. So we got to stamp all the pieces so I can show you how I stamped all your, your nest and everything will fit on this piece. Then you should have a piece cut at five and a half by five and a half, which I'm going to have to go get. But first we're going to go ahead and stamp. Let me show you how to stamp all your images on here. So you're going to first stamp your nest just because that's your biggest image that you're going to stamp on this piece of basic white. Okay, so stamp your nest. This piece is four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is going to be your scrap for stamping all your images. All right, so stamp your nest. Okay. Then you're going to stamp your branch, which I've already got all my pieces cut out here. So I, use, I try to always give you enough, a big enough piece to stamp all your pieces. Okay, then you got your branch here. Then you're going to stamp your bird. Bird, let's say your bird's going to go over here. Okay, and then you're going to stamp your greeting, which this one, let me take the thank you off of there. This one is best friends. What did that one say? Hold on, let me get the card. This one says best friends make the good times better. And that's from the same stamp set. So we're just going to stamp this greeting down here in the bottom corner. Right here. Okay, and then we're going to do some surgery on that after you stamp it. And that's it. Those are your images that you're going to stamp and then die cut and then color. Okay, so that's what your piece should look like. And then after you cut out your scallop circle, which is your two and five eighths, what you're going to do with that, let me show you here with the dies. You're going to take your layering circle dies or whatever die you have. 
you're going to first cut out the front of your card, which we're going to do together with my die cut machine. But then you're going to take your scrap piece here of your basic white right here. You're going to cut out, this is what I do. I cut out the scallop first and then cut that out. And then I take that circle and then I put that right in the center and cut that out. And then it's going to make your frame for the front of your card. Okay. So that will be for your kit that you'll get that in there. So you can, um, the, the frame, well, it depends on if you use your, um, stylus shapes, the squares that might work on that piece too. So just keep that in mind. All right. All right. So we got all our stamped images here. Now let me go ahead and grab our die cut machine again. I'm going to cut my front piece. Oh, wait, we got to put it together first. Let's put our pieces together because we want to die cut one time. So those are all the extra. Okay, so we're going to put our designer paper onto the front. But before we do that, like my sample, I'm going to put the ribbon on first instead of trying to remove it after. Oh, no, we want to put it on first or second. Sorry, I'm going to cut it out first because I won't be able to put that through the machine. So what I did is I just put a little tiny bit of adhesive on the back of the designer paper. And then we're going to put this, making sure the hearts are going in the right direction. We're going to put this right on the front of our card, right where we, right, exactly right where you want it. And then we're going to grab our die cut machine. So we grab that again. All right. I'm going to go grab that. So you only want to put a little bit of your adhesive on that because that's where we're going to read we're going to tie up our ribbon after we cut this out all right so the same sandwich your platform one and two and then three and then your second third one we're going to put our card let me get my die here remember this is the scallop that we use for the frame but this is the one we're going to use for cutting out the circle all right, and you want to keep it somewhat in the center. Let me show you here. Because this card has a step here. Do you see that? And if you put your circle too low, you're going to see that gap there. So kind of put it right in the center on the right-hand side of your card. And you can just eyeball that. And I cut that out. Oh, that came off my cardstock too. All right. So there's my die cut with my layers. So then this is where you would use your square or your oval, whatever you want. For And I'm just using the circle. So it's whatever you want to use. All right. Let me get my bone folder. So now we're going to put this back on here, but first we're going to put our ribbon around the top of our designer paper. This is where I originally wanted it, right up here at the top edge. And you should have about 18 inches, enough to tie like a fake bow. If you can tie a full bow with this ribbon, go ahead. I just find it's a little bit easier just to tie it. Make sure the designer paper is flat. Tie it and then tie it again in a knot that kind of looks like a bow, especially when you cut the tails on the sides. Whoop. Okay, turn it and pull it right here on the edge. Oh. I might have to do that again. Hold on. I'd rather do it again than put it down and it doesn't lay flat. Make sure your ribbon's flat on the back. Back side. Of the designer paper. Okay. Just going to turn the ribbon. Okay, 
Okay, so tie it. Like tying a shoe, you know. I'll pull this over here to the side. It's pulling up the designer paper because there's nothing attached to it. Maybe I should attach it. That's what I'll do. Hold on. Let's attach it. So we're putting adhesive on the back of the designer paper. And then I'll attach this to the base. Then that will give me some stability to tie it better. Right? I just want to make sure that looks pretty even. Right there. All right, now we can put this onto the card. Lining up the die cut. Right about there. Press that down. Now we can tie it better, much better. Yes, much, much, much better. Just don't do what I did after I die cut it. I just put it on and then that's where I ran into the problem with the adhesive. I couldn't get the designer paper lifted up to put the ribbon on. <laughs> that was the problem. All right, so I just tied it and then tied it again to make it like a fake bow. Okay, like that. Definitely easier doing it that way. Okay, all right, now let me get into my little envelope here because I got my other cards here. Thank goodness I brought that over. So you're going to have your five and a half by five and a half inch piece, which is that right there. And this is scored at, let me flip my, oh, there it is. <laughs> it was behind the other card up by my notes. Duh. All right. So this piece will be scored for you. This piece is scored at three-fourths down here. And three-fourths, four inches right here. And then four and three-fourths. So it's three-fourths, four, and four and three-fourths. And this is five and a half by five and a half. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our card... I'm gonna put me fold this both ways so it goes nice when I put it together. Fold the score lines both ways. This just breaks down the card fibers so the card opens up really nice. Okay. Okay, so Three fourths, four and three fourths. Now we're going to put our adhesive along this three fourths inch side over here and over on the four and three fourths side over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take our card, we're going to take the three fourths inch edge right here on this edge. We're going to line that up with the four and three, four and a quarter inch score line right here in the center. So you're going to line that up with that edge. And you might want to fold the card so it gets tucked, them in, tucked up in that score line. And you want to make sure that it's lining up with the outside edges too. So tuck it right up underneath that four and a quarter inch score line and press that down. Okay, then you're going to open up your card and then you're going to flip this, this piece back and then you're going to fold it on the four inch score line right here. So then this is your four and three fourth inch score line. Let me show you again. So after you put that three fourth inch side and the inside, you're going to open up your card and it's going to look like this. You're going to flip this edge back. Then fold this four inch forward right here and then fold your card in the back closed and then seal that up. And that's going to make your step card in the center like that. See how it opens up? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so cute. So now you can see where you want to put that right in the center there and then so you don't see that step part down there. Okay? Ta-da! 
All right, then it's just a matter of putting your bird's nest into the inside here. And I want to make sure it's going to look through the window really cute. So I'm going to pop that up on dimensionals. Let me get my big dimensionals. I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Actually, move this one up here. Because I'm going to put my branch down here below the nest. But I'm going to first position my nest that it shows through the window. It's really cute. Right about there. Okay, so I put my two dimensionals towards the top because I'm going to take my nest and take my mini dimensionals. Put my dimensionals on the branch. Three places. Did I already color this one? I think I did. I hope I did. Yes. So I colored this branch in with crumb cake and old olive to match the bird's nest. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wiggle this underneath the nest like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my eggs. Once again, I'm going to use the mini dimensionals. I'm going to use the balmy blue cardstock that's in your kit. I'm going to put two up on dimensionals. And then one with the stamp and seal. Put the eggs in here. Put this one on adhesive with the stamp and seal. When you die cut your eggs, you can see what is the back and what's the front. Is that, yep, that looks good. This one right here. Oh, let me close it up that way. Okay, then we're going to take our little bird, put that on a dimensional. I think I'm going to put this one over here on this side over here. Okay, and then for my, remember the greeting that we stamped? Let me get my scissors here. Best friends. I feel like we do stamp surgery on all the greetings lately. So this is, there's a thin space. You can see it right here. Make the good times better and the hard times easier. You can keep it like that if you want. I'm just going to remove the bad times part at the bottom. So we're just going to remove that. Just like that. And square off the ends. This is going to go on the inside. And then we're going to stamp our greeting down here. Once again with the, um, where did that greeting go? It's a mate. There it is. It's upside down. All right. So we're going to stamp always thinking of you along this bottom edge right here. Making sure I'm going to stamp this right. Yep, always thinking of you. So you're just going to open up your card. Always thinking of you right there. And then we're going to pop this up on dimensionals. I'm going to put it over here to the left hand side of the nest. Best friends make the good times better. Right there. Isn't that cute? And then we're going to put our frame on the front. And I'm going to use liquid glue for that. Let's see here. Yep, this is the back. So just take a little bit of glue around the edge. Use liquid glue for this because this is very forgiving, especially when you're putting it around already a window here. We're just going to put that right around that framed window that we cut out with the die. Just like that. Then it opens up. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. 
so pretty. So now let me show you the one where the ribbon's on the bottom so you guys can, you know, decide. Even if you don't want to use a ribbon, you don't have to, but this one was where I forgot to add it and I went to try to, yeah, it wasn't going to come off. So I put the ribbon on the bottom here and this one's on the top. The way I really originally wanted to make it with the ribbon on the top. So pretty. I love it. All right, so there's card number two. Yeah, we'll put this one over here. All right, card number three coming at you here. How are we doing? Uh, let me see. Let me put this back. Sorry, I didn't put it back in picture in picture, huh? Sorry, guys. I think that's all we're using the liquid glue for. All right, so card number three is your gatefold. Inter interlocking gatefold card which is really beautiful these are the pieces you're going to get in your kit doesn't this time go by fast you guys seriously <laughs> it flies by all right so your pool party is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, and you're gonna score both ends at two and one eighth, which this will be done for you, okay? When you get your kits, always just go back and reinforce, reinforce your score lines, because when, when my husband and I score them, we just finger press them to put them in the kit. So make sure you're burnishing all your edges. And then your um, basic white piece for the inside will be cut at four, by five and a quarter. Then your two frames are using the stitch rectangle dies. These are both done for you. So let me show you. These are the dies that we used for that. This is the largest die, I believe, in the collection. So we cut that out with the petal pink. And then we, um, did I skip one? Yes, I skipped one to make the frame. So I went the largest and then the second from the, the third from the largest for the frame. Just like that. So the largest and then the third from the largest. And then the next size down from that is the next one with the white right here. Okay, so those will be done for you in the kit. Okay, and then you have a piece of scrap for your die cutting of your eggs. And then also another piece of four, and I think it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter, I think, for cutting your nest and your branch and two of the birds, which I gotta color the other bird, I think, for you today, or with you today. I just don't know where my, oh, there it is. I got another bird here. I'm going to color that one because I didn't color the bird with you. So I'm going to color that one. Okay, so then that's all your pieces. So you're going to get the scrap to cut your um, images. I just don't have that handy. So you're going to have all your pieces cut out or you're going to do that. And then we're going to stamp this greeting on the inside here with that Best Day stamp set. You can, of course, use any greeting that you want, but this one's pretty cute. It's the best day because it's your birthday. So I'm going to stamp that on the inside of my card. It's the best day. Yep. Yeah. Do a test stamp. Make sure it's stamped good. Okay, so then stamp this towards the middle of the card. And then my branch and my bird are going to go on the inside. I think I, I think, hold on, let me see my card here. I think I adhered that down. Yeah, I adhered the branch. To, oh, you know what? You can stamp the branch too if you have it, but you can die cut it too. So I'm going to adhere my branch down. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to, you could stamp the branch instead of stamping it and die cutting it. So I'm going to put my branch down here, and then I'm going to pop the bird up on a dimensional. So this is going to be for the inside, just to kind of finish it off, make it really cute. Okay, so then we're going to put this on the inside of our card. This should be four by five and a quarter. 
to the inside. Okay. And then we're going to take our frame, the petal pink frame. This is the, the largest frame that's going to go on the front, but here's the trick. You're only going to put adhesive on half of the frame. So I'm going to put my half on the left. So you're going to take your adhesive and you're just going to put it only on half of your frame. Oh, we want to stamp. Hold on. Hold that thought. We got to stamp our pool party. <laughs> That's what I forgot on my sample too. So I stamped it afterwards, but the the little polka dots you can, you know, barely see it, but it's enough where you can see it on the the pool party cardstock. I'm just stamping the corners or the quarter or the half panels of my gatefold just around the edges. I'll show you this up close. So what it looks like, because the inside is where my bird's going to go. So you can see the edge. Isn't that like finish it off really nice. That's with the splatter and the same color pool party. Okay. Then we're going to take our frame. Remember I put adhesive only on half, close up your card and position that right in the middle right there okay so then this is going to open up this way and then this is your other rectangle this is going to go on the inside over here but now you're going to put it the adhesive on the opposite side so you're going to put adhesive on the right side only in the half part or on the other half because remember this is interlocking here so then that's where the interlocking part happens right here. When you open it up. Then it's just a matter of decorating your front of your white, basic white rectangle. I'm just putting the nest and the bird with the eggs on this one here. Now the nest, you can turn it because I wanted it right in the center of that frame like that okay and then we're going to color this bird here let me color it really quick we're going to use the pool party whoops the pool party with the petal pink kind of bringing in the colors of the card let me zoom in here a little bit so pool party around where the the stamp Illustrator added all the lines for the bird. Color the edge, outline edge of the bird. And then your pull party for the belly and the beak and the feet. Okay, so there's your bird. You're going to do two of those on this card. One for the inside, one for the front. I'm going to put my eggs on first. I feel like those I want to make sure those are like in the nest good. So these two have dimensionals. Once again, two have dimensionals, mini dimensionals. <laughs> ah, everything's falling. Sorry. Okay, so. Two eggs have dimensionals. Let me see my sample here. Yeah, that's what I want right there. Okay, so we're going to put our eggs there. Along with this one with adhesive. And then we're going to take our bird, put that right there. Okay, and then we're going to stamp birthday wishes. I need my black ink. That's the one that fell on the floor. Okay, so 
So birthday wishes. We're going to stamp this right up here in the top right corner. Right here. Birthday wishes. Oh, hold on. I'm using my cup. Sorry. <laughs> Forget that I zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so there's the, the front. And then you open it. It's the best day because it's your birthday. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. And then here's the other one. So pretty. All right, so I can't give the cards away today. I'm so sorry. I need them for my own team's birthdays this month. I'm so sorry. So, but let, let's show you the kit again. So you get that card, which is card number three. Then you have card number two, number one with the partial die cutting. And then card number two, which is right here, which you can see the two bows are tied different. That's about the only thing different on them. Very cute. And that's got the step card on the inside. Very nice. Very cute fun fold. Simple but beautiful. Don't you think? Zoom out, Dawn. I did, Nicole. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm sick of the snow. We don't, we've had, had no snow at all. Knock on wood. We've had a lot of rain the last three days. Not like California's had, but we've got a lot of rain the last couple days. Lovely cards. Thank you, Rena. Not really a bird person. I know, Jean. I'm not like a bird watcher either. I mean, I like birds. My, my, um, my, Mother-in-law, she's passed now. She used to like hummingbirds. Oh my gosh, hummingbirds were her thing. And I really didn't really get into it until we went to their house and she was telling me all about them and how they feed them. And hummingbirds are amazing. Love the gatefold card. Thank you, Nicole. This one is the one she's talking about. Oh, you can also stamp the white too is what I did on this sample, but I didn't do it on this one. Yeah, you might be splattering a lot on these cards because the splatter is very soft and pretty. I like them. I like it, I should say. Love all the ideas today along with the color combination. Thank you, Nancy. I can't pick my favorite. I love them all. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> all right, so let me show you the host code again. And then we got some happy mail I got to show you really quick. I'm getting down. I'm at 7% now. So these are the host codes. Let me remove that. All right. So this is this week's card kit host code. You can use it starting today through Saturday at midnight Eastern time. And then this one you can use if you don't want the card kit. Okay. And then remember, don't use any of the card or the host codes if your order is over $150 because you automatically get the card kit. Unless I hear from you. If you don't want it, then you just got to let me know. Okay. So those are the card kit host code or that's the host code card kit. And then this is the kit. Yay. I love it. All right. So let me get my happy mail. All right. Some happy mail over here. This is the bundle again. This is the, and remember the, the stamp set and the dies are all the same name now, which is awesome. We love that idea. It's like, why did we take so long to do that? For real. All right, let me get all these cards over here. All right. All right, so this card, I don't remember if I showed you guys this card. I think I showed my team last week. This card is from Karen, wishing me a happy birthday. Isn't that a cute card fold? Love it, Karen. Love that striking of the gold, too. Thank you. Then this card is from Gladys. Thank you, Gladys. Oh, she's, she sent me this beautiful card. So beautiful. Thank you, Gladys. I love it. And then I got this beautiful card. There is beauty in the simplicity. Thank you, Renee. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. <laughs> so pretty. And my favorite color, purple. 
Then this card is, I think this one's from Beth. She's also on my team. Yep, Beth, love your card with the cute little rain or shine stamp set. Isn't that cute? Love the clouds too. Then this card, Time to Sparkle and Shine, is from Debbie. Love it. So cute. Then this card is from Pat, I believe. Yes, Pat. Thank you. She got this bundle for free for FSM tokens. Do you guys want to ask me about my FSM club before I forget? But she got this for free for her tokens. So you get a token for every $50 you spend, which right now is for celebration too. But for every $50, you get a token and then you collect 10 tokens and then you get to cash them in for a free stamp set or a free bundle, or a free die collection. Of your choice, a uh, retail value of a $50 item. So, but you can pick what you want, a stamp set, or a bundle, or a die collection, once you reach your 10 tokens. And this was what Pat got for her freebie, I believe, right? For your FSM token? But it looks so realistic. Look at her lemons. Oh, I love that. We're gonna use that for a class soon, too. And then I got this cute card from my DD, my DDM, Shannon. She was congratulating me on getting Mexico for the incentive trip for 2024. Love it, Shannon. Thank you. And then this pretty card is from Gina. Thanking me for her glitter giveaway stamp set. Thanks for everything. Love it. Thank you, everybody. We made it just in time. I'm at 4%. Let me do a glitter giveaway really quick. See, I'm at 4% here. 4%. Yikes. Let me plug this in. Let me unplug my mic. Sorry. Giveaway here. Let me get my charger here. Gonna unplug my phone. <laughs> Gotta do a little maneuvering here. Gotta plug in my iPad. There we go. All right, let's give some stuff away for the glitter spinner. I usually give you guys the cards, but like I said, I'm really behind on my birthday cards this month. So let's go ahead and give you guys, I got some champagne rhinestones, and then I got these flat adhesive back pearls. Woo, these are beautiful. All of them are beautiful. All right, let's do the spinner. Let me get my post-it notes here. All right, are we ready? Let's do it. Right. Right here. Nicole! <laughs> Nicole, I got your address. All right, let's give you, let's just do right here. This is the flat pearls. Yay! You won last week too, didn't you? You lucky little girl. <laughs> All right, so Nicole's getting the flat pearls, which are brand new. Now let's do the champagne rhinestones. Right on here, champagne. All right, let's do it. Spin, spin, drum roll, come on. I got a feeling my husband's going to have to replace the batteries. I don't have a, a Phillips screwdriver that small to do that. <laughs> All right. Spin it. The champagne rhinestones are going to... Linda! Linda, Linda, Linda. Do I have your... Oh, yeah, I think you won last week, too. Didn't you? Linda Becker in New York. <laughs> See, I got two Linda Beckers, one in Detroit and one in New York, I think. Unless that's the same Linda. I think that's you, right? You get the champagne rhinestones. Yay! Congratulations, ladies. Woo -woo. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta do this. How come it's not working? Come on now. Yay! Woo-woo. Congratulations. Yay, 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 yay. All right, so Linda won those. Nicole won these. And the matte dots for the early bird glitter spinner went to Joanne. 
I do believe I got everybody's address, which is awesome. I love that when that works out like that. Don't you? All right. You guys have any other questions before we skedaddle out of here? Let's go down to the comments section here. Let's see. Beautiful, happy mail. Hi, Rebecca. Thank you. You Oh, you know what? You know what? I think that would work too. I see them all the time at CVS, like when I go get my prescriptions or whatever. And I always walk by that. And it's like a little tiny case. And it's got like a cleaning cloth, a little screwdriver. I do believe that might be what I need, Sharon. Good idea. I have to write that down. Let me write that on there. Then I won't have to rely on my husband. Then if it goes out live with you or my team, then I can do it. Eyeglass repair kit. Thank you for the reminder, Sharon. And thank you, everybody. Everybody thanks Sharon, Teresa, and Irene for being the moderators today, keeping all the boogers out. <laughs> thank you, everybody. All right, so here again is the host codes if you need to write them down really quick. Thank you, everybody, for being here today, taking time out of your day to be with me, stamping, making some pretty cards. Also, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. We'll be back here again next Wednesday at 3 o'clock Eastern for In the Glitter Pit Live. We'll have a new card kit. I'm really debating on what card kit to make next week, so you guys can give me some ideas. I'm really... These are the three that are my top. I'm thinking the Taco Fiesta, Ready to Ride, and then that Lemon Bundle. Those three are on my mind that I want to play with. So we'll see. I usually design them the weekend. So, but I got other stuff I got to do too. Wait till you see what's coming up. We got a, we got like something planned. There's a group of us that are doing something special for something. I can't tell you all the details, but it's coming soon in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. So, all right. So I'll get your gifts mailed out and I'll see you guys next Wednesday at three o'clock Eastern.